preparations are underway. Lights are being set, cameras made ready. It's an event like none other. People from around the state are gathering at the governor's residence in Madison to recognize and celebrate some truly outstanding performances. Performances that lift the quality of life for all of us in Wisconsin. The 2007 Governor's Awards in Support of the Arts. As Governor Jim and First Lady Jessica Doyle welcome this year's awards recipients, attending guests await the start of the ceremony, made possible this year by the generosity of Northwestern Mutual Foundation and presented by the Wisconsin Foundation for the Arts. Introducing the Governor as Honorary Chair is Superstar Arts Supporter and past Governor's Awards recipient, Chris Abley. I am so pleased uh, to be here with all of you tonight uh, as we join in paying tribute to people who have so generously enriched the arts and culture of our state. Tonight we will honor a couple from Door County, an energetic individual from Oshkosh, an outstanding organization that attracts thousands, I really don't want to honor these guys, but we will, an outstanding organization that attracts thousands of a people to a tent near Lake Superior. They humiliate and make fun of me whenever I go there. <laughs> and an arts-friendly corporate fund subsidizing artistic opportunities for children. And now the award that's a little hard for me to give, but I'm, I'm willing to be a good sport about it. <laughs> Whenever I go there, they stick me up on stage and make a total fool of me, and they, <laughs> they, they take great delight. And, of course, I'm in a position where I can't say, you know, no, I, I, I would look like a bad sport. They know that, so they, they've got me right where they want me. Governor Doyle takes special pleasure in honoring tonight's final award recipient, Lake Superior Big Top Chautauqua, and its founder and artistic director, Warren Nelson. The Chautauqua Tancho Pack at ever let's go 815 old circuit stop. Big Top Chautauqua is the greatest venue in the history of the universe. We are in an all-American canvas theater tent show, the real deal. Time for me and you ballyhoo the Carnegie Hall of Tent Shows. We're in a throwback under a museum piece cloth that I call the magic hat. I don't know of another standing right now anywhere quite like us, all dressed up for showtime with the real canvas cloth. I am a man of the cloth, or Nelson, a man of the cloth. We're finishing our 22nd year. The first year we had about 5,000 people in our audience and this last year we had about almost 27,000. So that's quite a lot to bring in here to a, next to a town of 600. Warren's vision was to create this, to bring these guys together as he did into Bayfield, into, Ash, into Ashland, into Washburn, and to, and to begin this whole uh, extravaganza of a, of a folk theater and literature and musical, really. When people say Big Top Chautauqua, they think about our original shows, our band, the beautiful visuals on the big screen. Warren calls our, he has always called our shows Big Dang Deals, but that doesn't quite describe them to people who have never been here. They don't get it until they get here. When they get here, they get it. They, they sense that they're in a place that's different. The shows that we create here are unique because they combine the live performance, the stories which incorporate actual historical images that actually are described in the songs and stories. They're kind of history concerts. They tell a story show by show of specific places or themes or ideas. Our big screen makes it multimedia. It's live. Hopefully it's full of comedy, full of uh, the serious nature of life. History has the word story in it. We're here to tell stories, sing stories. The gentleman gave me a job. It's just a great piece of work that, you know, I don't know anybody else in the country who, who's doing this kind of thing. And I began thinking of uh, Broadway musicals and the great Broadway musical writers and that. And in a sense, we've got that in Warren. We tell people about their histories and celebrate community and the sense of place. The combination of images, music, stories, live performance, 
all put together, it carries a lot of power. Where our wheat went, by wagon to La Crosse. Society in Madison. I know that it means a lot to people. I love being able to make that happen for people. Typically there are between 700 and 1,000 images that fly by in a two-hour show. I love sitting up in my stand with my monitor like right in my face, washed in the music while I sit back there and make the images appear on the screen, which still seems like magic to me. Warren has a tremendous gift, which is very, very apparent to anyone who's listened to any of his songs carefully or experienced one of the shows. He is one of the best and least recognized poets in the state. His lyrics are poetry, and I don't know of anyone, in, uh, certainly in the state, writing poetry of that nature, and then translating it into music as well. They tell a story, they tell stories all the time, and they tell them in a way that uh, people love to hear. One of the things that people are very shocked at, who come here for the first time, is the talent of the musicians and singers. The Blue Canvas Orchestra, as we're known at the Big Top Chautauqua, our band, old-time friends of mine, great partners, incredibly talented singers and musicians, hard-earned by them. He brought these guys together, these fantastic musicians, and they are. I mean, they're on the par with anybody in the country, I think. Lots of times I'll tell the audience, you know, if you ever decide to be a songwriter, you better get on your knees and pray that you're as lucky as I am to have these people carrying along my songs on the wings of their strings and in their voices. And that is absolutely the truth. I am just honored to be sitting with old friends of mine. Big Top uh, gives us a sense of place. They, they help fill that out. Big Top Chautauqua is a miracle. It's a miracle of spirit and energy and dreaming. Warren would say, they're going to be dead for zillions and billions and trillions of years, so why not stay out late tonight? You heard my statement there, until you've seen a show at the Big Top, your life's nothing but a barren waste. Um, <laughs> It's a joy to call Wisconsin my home, and it's a joy for us to be invited down here. God bless us, everyone. Well, there you have it, our recognition of the generous and worthy recipients of the 2007 Governor's Awards in support of the arts. They believe, as do all of those we have previously honored, that the arts are for everyone. Support, enjoy. Enjoy.